Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to make a different type of video today. If you have watched any of my videos before, then you know I've made videos um, doing makeup hauls, makeup tutorials, I've done car vlogs and things like that, but this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I called in sick to work today because I woke up with some cramps, I woke up with a headache, I woke up just feeling a little bit restless and um, I just didn't feel like going into work. Um, my job is something that I'm extremely thankful for, grateful for. I'm new at it, I'm still learning a lot, um, and I've only been there for about two months or so. So I, I like the people that I work with and the job itself is something that I'm excited to grow and excited to learn in. Um, but it's not my passion. It's not something that I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yes, I get to go to work. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys have the privilege of having that type of job. If you do, that's amazing. That's great. And just cherish that because a lot of people don't have that opportunity. Um, like I said, I, I like my job and I enjoy the aspect of my work. I enjoy, I enjoy most aspects of my work, but it's not my passion. And I have had the privilege like the last three years before I got this job and a little bit before I had my last part-time job, I had the privilege of being full-time self-employed, like just doing things my own way, my own time, you know, writing my own paycheck type of thing. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I made a bunch of money because I didn't. I didn't make a lot of money. I made money. I made enough to support myself. I made enough to live my life every single day as an eight, as a single, no kids, 18, 19, 20 year old. And I was spoiled because now I go to work for someone else 40 hours a week and I understand why people say, oh, I get tired after work. And I'm like, well, you only work till 5 p.m. But now I see that that's a real thing. You get exhausted, you get tired, and you're putting all of your mental energy and all of your physical energy into waking up and going to work and putting a smile on your face and doing your work and trying to do your best. And then at the end of the day, you know, still getting some type of, you know, lecture or some type of here, did you do this or whatever. And it's exhausting. And so for the last month and a half, all of like the motivation, all of the fire, all of the energy that I used to have for the last three and a half years for my future and all that fire and energy I had for my goals and for my dreams and all the belief I had in myself and my ability to get those things done started to like dwindle and it started to fade. Never went away because I'm not a quitter. I don't give up on things, but my spark was kind of like, fizzling out I guess you could say a little bit and I'm just like I allowed myself to let the 40 hour work week like overcome me and and let it be like I turn into that person who lives for the weekends who's like yes it's the weekend I can finally do all the things I want to do I can finally like go out or I can finally um like write my goals down or I can finally like go do something I've wanted to do or I can finally call this person and it's like no you have time after you get off work every single day to put effort into whatever you want you want to see your friends you don't have to wait till the weekend you can go out with them during the weekend and you don't have to drink you want to go to the gym you can go to the gym after work which I do go to the gym after work sometimes but not all the time you want to you know eat healthy you can cook after work you know, during the week. If you want to, you know, start a business, you can put three, four, five hours in a night when you're off of work. Is it going to be hard? Yeah. Are you going to be tired? Absolutely. But you're either going to work and be tired 40 hours a week, every week for the rest of your life, or you're going to work 80 hours a week, every week, until it's done so you never have to work 40 again and I heard that on Shark Tank like two nights ago I was watching Shark Tank on Sunday night before I had to go back to work on Monday and I'm at a weird angle because like I said I have cramps so I'm like laying on something that's like putting pressure so in case you're wondering this is like a real video we're being transparent here we're being raw um Anyways, it was Sunday night and I was watching Shark Tank and 
Um, Lori Greiner said, you know, entrepreneurs are said to be the only people who will work 80 hours a week so that they never have to work 40. And I get that now. But that's the problem is that I wasn't working 80 hours a week. I was only working 40 and calling myself tired. And I don't want to do that anymore, you know. I know people are going to, this isn't a complaining video. I'm not complaining about my work. I'm not complaining about my job because I know that there's a lot of people out there who can't get a job right now. There's a lot of people out there who who went to college and still can't get a job. There's a lot of people who would love to have the job that I have. So I'm grateful for it. I am appreciative. I'm so thankful that I have it um, because it's allowing me to do a lot of things I haven't been able to do before. It's allowing me to make a bigger dent in my debt hole. It's a, it's a lot of, it's allowing me to you know, pay things off. It's allowing me to have the car that I have and have the insurance that I have and you know, it's allowing me to do a lot of things I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So I'm grateful, but I'm not satisfied. And I'm not content. I want more. I want, you know, more out of my life. I don't want this to be my... I'm 22 now, you know, sharing a room, having a roommate, like making a commute. All these things are fine right now. Like I have energy. I don't have kids. I'm not married. But eventually, I want to live a different type of lifestyle. You know, I want to travel more. I want to do more. I, it's not even about like, oh, I want to get married and have kids one day, so I have to work hard right now. Like, marriage and kids is like not the next thing on my mind. It's not the next thing in my plan. Like, I want to travel. I want to build a business. I want to have my own company. I want to like do so many things for myself and for my family I already have, for my mom, for my brothers, for my sister, my uncles, my grandma, like the people who are already in my life, I have things I want to do for them before I go out and like get married and reproduce and do all these other things that people think is like all of a sudden the next step in your life. There's so much I want to do and there's already enough inspiration for me to go out there and do it. So... I'm just making this video, I guess, as kind of like the next step because YouTube is is one of my passions. It is something that I love. I sit there and I can watch YouTube videos, not just like makeup tutorials. It started out with makeup tutorials. Like, I mean, I remember watching hair tutorials and like a bunch of stuff when I was like 13 or 14 and I had a desktop computer in my room. When, like before I went to high school, I used to just sit on my computer or sit on my laptop for hours and hours and just watch YouTube and then I kind of stopped for a while and then about two years ago, I got really into makeup tutorials and Desi Perkins is like one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. But what I see from her is like her beauty, her beauty channel and she does amazing videos but then I'm so much more like enticed into her snapchats and her vlogs and like things like that because it shows her real life and it shows that she's a real person and that's what I want to do. I, I love YouTube and I love you know all of like the production and all the music and all the lighting and all the sounds and everything that goes into making a great video for people to watch but I also know that you know, right now I don't have all of that ability. I don't have the lighting, I don't have the equipment, I don't have a lot of the, you know, sound production. I don't know how to edit that well, but what I do have is a lot to say. I have a lot of content to give. I have useful things. Like, I know I'm good at makeup, and I know I can put out some fire tutorials, but I get scared to do it because I don't have, like, all the equipment and all the right, right products and all this stuff, but... I just want to put things out there for people and and, and I have <laughs> I have a mouth on me that I can talk and talk and talk for hours and hours and hours and I have so much to say and I have so many like ideas that come into my brain but I don't put them out there because I just get like I don't know I get scared and I'm like well, what if people don't like it but calling in today and thinking about all these things yesterday and watching Shark Take on Sunday and just a bunch of thoughts I've had the last month and a half working this job, I've just realized like it's not worth it to hold back, you know? It's not worth it to hold back in any part of your life. Like if you're going to do anything or if you're even thinking about doing anything, just do it. And I'm not making this video to inspire you. I'm most definitely making this video to inspire myself. I'm most definitely making this video for myself to say, Mariah, look, this is what you said on October 
think it's October 25th. This is what you said on October 25th, 2016. You said that you were going to not get tired anymore and you were going to work as hard as you needed to for as long as you needed to, you know, in order to make your dreams a reality, in order to make things happen for yourself. You said it. You said it. So... <laughs> This video is for me and if you like it and you want to share it or if you like it and you know you want to just keep it to yourself and you want to let it serve as inspiration for you that makes me really happy but I'm not making this video to inspire you because you're the only person who can look at yourself in the mirror and who can say you're not gonna make things happen today or you are gonna make things happen today you're not gonna go work hard for what you want you're gonna go work hard for what somebody else wants or you're not going to go to the gym today because you're going to be too tired after work and you have to go make dinner for your kids. You're not going to go do this with your kids this weekend because you're going to go, you know, decide to do something else. I don't know. I, I don't have, like, the answers for everybody. I don't know what people say to themselves when they decide not to do something. But you're the only person who makes your own decisions. No one can tell you you're going to do this or you're going to do that. No one can 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 tell you you know I don't care who it is if it's Eric Thomas or if it's Gary Vaynerchuk or if it's um you know Jim Rohn or if it's Tony Robbins I don't care who it is none of these people can make you a different person they can say something that's like that like unveils something within yourself that's already there but you're the decision maker for your own life at the end of the day you know, you can go to Tony Robbins or you can go to, you know, see a motivational speaker live and you can be so inspired. But what happens two months after you go to that? Are you the same person? Are you still doing all the things you did when you first left? Of course, they're amazing and I love them and I listen to them myself and I get motivated and inspired by them as well. But at the end of the day, I'm the one who chooses to stop being inspired. I'm the one who chooses to stop being motivated. I'm the one who chooses to stop being, you know, to stop working hard. And so are you. So, again, this isn't a motivational video. This isn't an inspirational video. This is a video for me <laughs> to just have some type of documentation that I said I was going to do something about my and my dissatisfaction and if you want to make that decision too then you can make it and if you don't and you're gonna wait a little bit longer you know your dreams may or may not be there still um, if anybody needs someone to talk to or needs you know just has something to say like I go through the same things that would be really comforting for me um, because I'm making this video for me, but I'm sharing it with you to let you know if you have these kind of thoughts, if you have these kind of like built up emotions and frustrations for, with yourself, you know, you're not alone and it's not too late. One day it will be. It's not too late right now because you're realizing it, but one day it will be too late. I saw another quote and this is like the last thing that I'm gonna say because I could sit here and talk forever and that's funny considering I'm in my room alone talking to a camera but I could sit and talk forever I saw um, a tweet the other day on iconic beauties Twitter and it said the trouble is you think you have time and that hit me so hard because it's like we're young or maybe I feel like if you're under like 60 years old you're young because you can still move, you can still drive, you can still see, you can still, you know, speak, you can still hold a conversation, you can still do all of those things. I'm not saying if you're over 60 that you can't do any of those things. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I just mean you still have a lot of time, you still have a lot of life to live, you still have a lot of energy left. And um, people think that because they're young, because age, you know, matters, they think that they have time. But... That's not always the case, especially in the fast-moving age, the fast-moving times that we live in. Time is running out every single day. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to do something about it. I'm going to work 
as much as I can, as hard as I can, for as long as I have to, to never have to wake up dreading the next four days of my life until the weekend. I don't want to do that anymore. And it's only taken me a month and three weeks <laughs> to realize that a 40 hour work week is just not for me. So, like I said, I'll do it for as long as I have to. I'll work as hard as I have to for as long as I have to. And hopefully on October 25th, 2017, I am exactly where I want to be at that time. Not calling into work because of cramps. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and let me know if you have the same type of thoughts and feelings that I do because otherwise this may have just been the most embarrassing, crazy, no one gets you Mariah type of video I've ever made.